I'm Taya from Ukraine and welcome to my channel again. Today you understood that I want to tell you more about my life. I like this talking style videos. I appreciate that you love them too. And about YouTube, how it became to be in my life and about freelancing. And I want to give you some advice for those people who want to change their life. That's the topic I can talk for hours. If you think that the story of me, how I became a YouTuber, will be something like I was dreaming and in my dreams I saw myself an actress, I was with splashing lights and boom! Next time I'm a famous YouTuber. Nah, that did not happen. Uh, everything started, maybe you remember, I already told you, with just talking with foreigners, with curiosity, I would say, to different cultures, to different life, how people live in this world. And I just registered on the international site, not dating site, just international site of changing cultures exchanging cultures. Also, I had my first uh, relationships, I would say. Of course, it wasn't real, but uh, still. So that side was like, um, I don't know, the first good stuff that happened with me in my life. I got friends, good people, I understood that I'm not lonely with my crazy thoughts. So a lot of people ask me about Ukraine and I understood that People don't know anything about Ukraine, Ukrainian life, culture, anything. Ukraine was like hidden uh, country on the map. And I tried to make one video, you can still watch it, I, I still have it on my channel. I just tried to copy, let's say not copy, just to, to, to show the style of other YouTubers I uh, see so on YouTube. At the time I started to watch YouTube because before that I wasn't a girl who liked to surf the internet, but now internet it's my job and my leisure time, so I'm with my laptop 24 to 7. That's very bad, don't do that. I just did it for fun because um, yeah, because it is a great platform to develop yourself, to show yourself. Since I was only 18 years old girl, without any experience in anything, I wasn't that good in some topic I wanted uh, and could show and taught people. I didn't have like even options what kind of topic I want to do on YouTube. I just started. And everything went easy. A lot of stuff in my life I do it really subconsciously. And that's what I advise you to do. Uh, so first advice is to choose the topic. And not the topic, random topic. Like concrete topic. You're good at makeup, do makeup. You're good at traveling, do a traveling vlog. You're a chef, do cooking. Something you're passionate. Because people want to see real you that you are professional in your in the style you are uh, i mean that style in direction you are uh, doing videos so they want to see some someone entertaining them and people want to sell it also a quo uh, quali quality content if you don't have ideas about uh, topic don't even start the channel because if you start to mix different kind of videos people will be confused. I started to make videos um, not once in a week, <laughs> not even once in a month. So I started to make videos for fun because when I had time I did it. But when you are, um, uh, how to say, have serious intentions towards YouTube, you need to have your own uh, plan because yeah. YouTube is a platform where, when people can get used to you very easily if they see something really unique about you, some charisma, for example. But uh, that also a disadvantage that people will forget about you very easily. There are lots of other good people, talented, very charismatic, and people will not think about like, oh, where is this blogger go? I. I'm curious about his life. No one will do this. YouTube has a strange algorithm. It's changing all the time. Uh, it's recommended you videos and you watch only videos that YouTube recommend you. No one, maybe some people who are not lazy will just go to your 
channel intentionally, click on the video, see video so that they didn't watch or something. No one does it. So I recommend actually to do this because if you missed some of my videos and you want to watch some more videos um, and exclusive videos of Ukraine, I recommend you to do that. That I just told, uh, go to play playlist and uh, vlogs from other cities. I really put a lot of efforts to that. Even though they're not uh, that, uh, very well viewed, but uh, I don't let myself to put um, a video where my hands are shaking all the time. I put music, so check them out. Then uh, maybe after one year of my uh, blogging career, I started to have some maybe 1000 subscriber and then I got first money. For my first money I bought a camera because the first camera I used it I just bought it from my friend and uh, I don't know it's not very convenient <laughs> and uh, that's her camera not mine you know. So people need to see that you're growing developing your channel. I have some lightning now microphone tripod camera and all the stuff and I'm pretty happy with that because I can give you quality uh, picture even if you cannot for example do makeup uh, even if you are a guy I uh, also advise you to put a little bit powder to your face even if you're a girl and you don't like uh, really makeup it's not necessary but still I advise you to because uh, camera takes 50% of your makeup so just take it in your mind what I also like about YouTube is that you don't need to be a 100 professional in the thing you are doing people will just appreciate you having as a friend someone who will make them laugh they want something easy um, going a person to see on that side of screen you understand so i just compare myself i'm not that good perfect english speaker but it seems that people like my accent because they like slavic culture and they want to hear slavic accent not american accent that they can hear in their everyday life yeah you know what i mean and about uh, editing you don't need to have that uh, editing skill even though i really think some people don't understand that but I try to edit everything so it will be so exactly precisely edit. Another uh, advice for you is uh, to be open-minded about comments because sometimes people want to help you to develop and you need to be open to be criticized and uh, to understand that there will be always some uh, troll people who will say bad things to you. Someone said that, some YouTubers said that I'm the best example of how many trolling people there are. Well, I don't know, I just don't mind about that and like uh, let people think, uh, write what they think. Uh, I don't delete uh, comments or something. Um, I don't know, maybe some people enjoy making me angry or sad, whatever. It's on there will be minus to their karma or something. People on that side of the screen uh, will always uh, also give you good comments too. They will always tell you something that you will never see in yourself. And that makes me very happy and confident because YouTube made me confident. I would never be confident with uh, a known group of people. I like working with the camera pretending it's someone who is listening to me. You need to understand there are two types of how you can get money from YouTube. First is uh, you get a lot of views, you have products or services to advertise, you are happy, you have few thousand, uh, not few, uh, a lot of thousand, dozen, thousand or hundreds and thousand views on every your video you are happy and uh, YouTube is your full time. But when you are like a small YouTuber like me, you need to, uh, to understand that you will never get one million even on one of your videos, maybe except it will be some bikini girls on that, yes a bitch. Anyway, uh, you need to understand that you will never have that fame that you expect to have. So what I uh, do 
I do a lot of services connected to Ukraine that you know and that helps me because YouTube doesn't give me a lot of money I can tell you how much I earn I earn um, maybe 150 120 depends on the months from YouTube and that's not even money you can survive in Ukraine I live with parents but I support myself like fully I pay for, for food to me or clothes or entertaining I had a lot of uh, bad thoughts <laughs> for you but really I wanted to give up this channel a lot of times because that doesn't bring me what I want I just could do this for my own fun but that was just you know like a hobby and it will never be my job if I didn't wait a little bit more and didn't put more efforts into that and thankfully life is a boomerang I have donations I have a trust from people that what I appreciate I have people who spend their time watching my videos and that's the biggest uh, thing for uh, any blogger actually so I'm not ashamed of talking about how I survive uh, being a full-time youtuber small youtuber especially when you are in Ukraine that uh, art media film industry is in is in some first few steps of its uh, you know developing that you don't need to dream about that because if you're for example youtuber in America or Japan or some other European countries maybe it will be easier I don't know so about freelancing uh, when you become a freelancer there are a lot of advantages and disadvantages everyone wants to be the job independent but not for everyone this job is suitable actually and it seems very easy to be a freelancer you travel when you want you sleep how much you like your boss to yourself you do what you want but that's even harder when people uh, think about being a freelancer so firstly disadvantage and advantage you have a schedule when you go to school and job every day you have this came the same schedule every day you don't need to think about your schedule because you know that at 7 a.m you wake up 6 p.m you go back from work and it's five days per week in freelancing it's not like this every day every year day you need to think by yourself what you need to do what task you need to accomplish, uh, accomplish today? No one will motivate you, yeah? You, 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 when you go uh, wake up uh, at job, you don't have a thought, yeah, to have a day off. But when you are freelancer, there's a very seducing thought. <laughs> Not work. <laughs> you think, yeah, I worked so much, you know. So that's a disadvantage it's not a disadvantage just it's easy to be lazy when you are a freelancer you need to be very well motivated otherwise freelance job it's not for you at all you need to understand that all you do is for yourself for me one day it's editing then I have lesson another day tour and dancing and I need to think all the time what kind of schedule I need to have every day I don't have a routine every day is not um, like yesterday so for people who think that um, company job and job actually it's equal to boring routine and uh, something not very fun I want to break stereotypes there should be animation of glass uh, dropping <laughs> broken glass because that's uh, this is the typical uh, mind uh, of people who don't understand uh, all the comfort and uh, good life uh, opportunities because my day is always very fun because I'm in artistic um, how to say art and art is always fun I think because your mind is working and you're thinking how it's better to do like this to shoot like that and all this stuff I think people who do freelance and artistic job will understand me if you like all this party from company on or free travel vouchers that will never happen when you're a freelancer um, and you don't have a sociable life 
your sociable life will be crossed, especially if you're working with the internet, that will be, with a laptop I mean, 90% because freelancing is just, you know, working with uh, online. Since you're working with laptop, your health mate also can change. I have bad eyesight maybe half of my uh, life. You understood that I wear glasses. I wear contact lens because it's much more comfortable for me. Uh, that's genetics, not because uh, when I was 10 I became a, a, a freelancer, you know. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really like that you adore watching this talking videos about life and everything. I actually like this uh, videos too. I mean to make it and I wish everyone good luck. I uh, think that everyone deserves to be happy. If you have good intentions, of course good, <laughs> to change, change yourself firstly and then you can change the world. As long as you don't harm anyone you deserve to be happy and you can deserve to do whatever you want with your life. So stay awesome, keep working, good luck to everyone and see you the next time. Bye.